When the car was first invented, people didn't see it as a car. They saw it as a horseless carriage. The means of transportation had always been horse and carriage, so that was the frame of reference that people had with which to understand this new invention. Whenever something entirely new comes along, and we've never seen anything like it before, we tend to borrow images of things that are familiar to form an understanding of what the new thing is. That's why the car was seen as a horseless carriage. Although trivial to us, the intellectual and psychological transition from horseless carriage to simply car was not easy. But this video is not about cars, it's about Bitcoin. But let me continue with this analogy for just a bit longer. This is what the naysayers said about the car. Automobiles are loud and dirty and no one wants them. They break down all the time. There are no roads and no one is going to pay for roads. The automobile can't even operate in the same terrains as a horse, so already they're inferior to the current means of transportation. Automobiles need gas and that's nowhere to be found. But most of all, they're dangerous. They were, in fact, so dangerous that in 1865 the UK legislated the Red Flag Act. The Red Flag Act was a legislation that stated that self-propelled vehicles should be accompanied by a crew of three a vehicle operator, an engineer in case the car breaks down, and a person walking in front of the car waving a red flag warning people of the dangerous machine advancing at 2 miles per hour. Instead of embracing new technology and seeing its potential, the Red Flag Act legislators and people like them meet new inventions and new technology with fear and resistance. But the genie was out of the bottle, the car had been invented and could not be uninvented and the Red Flag Act legislators and the people like them got left behind. No one knows exactly what Bitcoin is yet, we're still struggling to understand Bitcoin as its own thing. So we borrow images of things that are familiar, mostly from the banking system that we now kind of understand or at least are familiar with. So we use images and words like senders, recipients, wallets and addresses and we portray Bitcoin as a coin. But there are no coins. There are no wallets and there are no addresses, there are no senders or recipients in Bitcoin. But we're using these metaphors to bridge the gap between our current frame of reference until we intellectually and psychologically can properly understand Bitcoin as simply Bitcoin. But here's what we do know about Bitcoin. Bitcoin can be understood as many different things. Software, a protocol, a distributed ledger, a settlement layer, an asset. But Bitcoin is first and foremost money. And it is the hardest and soundest money that has ever existed for the simple reason that it has the hardest monetary policy and that it cannot be changed. It's simply better money than all previous forms of money in the history of the world for a variety of reasons. And that's why it refuses to go away. I believe that those who see that Bitcoin is here to stay and has a decent probability to mature into a global monetary standard will be immensely rewarded. Unlike fiat currencies like the dollar, the pound, the yen, or the euro, Bitcoin can't be censored, confiscated, or inflated. The genie is out of the bottle. Bitcoin has been invented and cannot be uninvented. There are so many arguments why Bitcoin will never work, just like the car when the car was first invented. Yet Bitcoin does work, just like the car. There will never be more than 21 million bitcoins, and that can never change, and an estimated 4 million bitcoins are lost forever, meaning that there can never be more than 17 million people in the entire world who can own one full bitcoin. Think about that for a second. Don't be like the Red Flag Act legislators and meet new technology with fear and resistance. I don't think that we're that far from a time when it's going to be really, really difficult to become a full coiner. There is going to be a stampede to accumulate Bitcoin, and it's going to happen gradually and then all at once. Don't be left behind.